Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Board, and today's show is presented by Roan. I'm going to be talking about them coming up here in a little bit on today's episode. And the main talking point is around Jermaine Illuminor because I was talking with Jermaine in the DMs today, and realistically, I thought All right, a lot of the stuff that he told me, this is some pretty big news around the Raiders starting right tackle. Also, I want you to save this date. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you got those notifications turned on because Jermaine Illuminor is going to be here on the Raiders Report Friday, April 21st at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. We go live every single Friday for happy hour during the offseason, and I'm going to ask him some interesting questions. So if you want to also ask him some save the date make sure you are subscribed so coming up here on today's show is the biggest news around Jermaine Illuminor and the top thing is that I asked him is do you want to play right tackle so he has given me a few different answers of positions and we'll talk about all of that but in terms of playing right tackle this one is for just win babies believe it baby if you're new to the show this means 100 percent chance that this is where he wants to play now if you remember he started a lot of games last season for the silver and black especially at the right tackle position he was re-signed this offseason by the raiders and his cap hit is going to be three million dollars Illuminor flat out told me that he wants to play right tackle he flat out told me that he believes that him and colt miller can be the best offensive tackle duo in the national football league so the last time that i spoke to Illuminor before speaking him to him today was right before he was getting ready to go on his honeymoon and oh Jermaine I know you said you'd watch this show so shout out to you congratulations and all that really excited to have you on this show but last season he played at 6'4 he played at 335 pounds started in 17 games allowed three sacks did get hit quite a bit with some penalties but I can sit up here and say when you're playing next to Alex Bars that's a kind of a liability that you're playing next to. But the one thing that people got to start doing is putting a little bit more love and respect on Jermaine Illuminor's name because freaking man, he deserves it. In 940 snaps last season, according to PFF, an overall grade of 75.3, a pass blocking grade of 76.1, a run blocking grade of 75.7. When you look at his stats, 10 penalties, which, yes, there were some brain-dead penalties in there. And I know Jermaine, he would even say himself, those are on me. Three sacks allowed, but two of them in the first two games. He then allowed only one sack the final 15 games of the season. Three hits allowed, 26 pressures. If you're wondering how that compares, well, realistically, he allowed less sacks than Colt Miller. He allowed less hits than Colt Miller. He allowed less quarterback pressures than Colt Miller. We know that people really regard Miller as being one of the best tackles in football. I'm not saying that they're in the same conversation, but Illuminor definitely deserves a little bit more respect, especially on social media, and he deserves more respect from the media in general. So Lance Zerloin released a mock draft, and a yet a Raider fan asked Zerloin essentially like, do you believe in Jermaine Illuminor for the Raiders? Right tackle kind of seems like a luxury pick in the top 15. Zerloy flat out said, I do not believe in Jermaine Illuminor. So then Jermaine responded and said, to be honest, Lance, you can have your opinion. You don't have to believe in me, quite frankly. I don't give an F if you do. Here's the thing. I gave up two sacks the first two games and one in the last 15. You and the rest of the NFL will learn to respect one way or another. Then Lance Zerloin said, I'm moving you down to start at right guard. So it's not that much disrespect. So coming up here on the Raiders report, I asked Jermaine Illuminor, would you be okay with playing right guard? I think you guys are going to be interested in terms of what exactly he had to say. So comment down below, what position Will Jermaine Illuminor play this upcoming season? Is he going to play right tackle? Give me an RT. If you think he's going to play right guard, type RG. If you think he's going to play another position, well, then spam it down below what your thoughts on are around Jermaine Illuminor and what position he's going to play. Now, today's show is presented by Aaron, and if you like the dress shirt that I have on, I really encourage you to go check them out. Make sure you use promo code chatsports at roan.com slash chatsports. The reason why I personally love Roan is I like simplicity. I love that this is a dress shirt that I can throw in the wash and that I don't have to take it to the dry cleaners. It's not going to be wrinkly. And on top of that, I can wear it to work. I can wear it out to drinks with the guys. I can wear it on date night with Alex, and it's super comfortable 
and with the technology that it has, if you're going to sweat, you're not going to be able to see it. It's not going to stink because I can wash these super simple every single time. So if you're a man like me, I want you to try out the commuter collection because to me, it can get you through any workday and straight into whatever comes next. Head to roan.com slash chat sports and use promo code chat sports to save 20% off your entire order. That's 20% off your entire order when you head to R H O N E dot com slash chat sports and use code chat sports. It's time to find your corner office comfort. I am all about comfort. I'm all about simplicity. I mean, Chugs, think about it. You and Danny, you want to go out, you're going out to dinner, you pull out a dress shirt. You pull out a dress shirt out of that thing, and it's wrinkly. I'll tell you what, I don't like the iron. I don't like the steam clothes. If it's wrinkly, <laughs> I'm not going to wear it. I already waited so long for Alex to get ready, so I want it to be simple. Hey, getting lucky with Roan? That's four just win babies. <laughs> four just win babies. Speaking of just win babies, let's go to Jermaine Illuminor. And does Jermaine Illuminor want to play right guard for the Las Vegas Raiders? Guess what? No just win babies. They didn't wear their own. This one, tuck rule, tuck that. That means that it's doesn't not going to happen, doesn't want it to happen. So Illuminor flat out told me that he doesn't want to play offensive guard. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you know, shout out to all y'all. I talked about this on Locals on Wednesday. It's another reason maybe to check out Locals. But he flat out told me he doesn't want to play offensive guard and he wants the Raiders to essentially figure out the guard position because he believes in himself. He believes in what he showed last season with Carmen Brasillo that he deserves to be a right tackle. He wants to be the best offensive tackle in the National Football League next to Colton Miller. So if Illuminor believes that he can be a top right tackle then I don't blame him for not wanting to play guard. In terms of Illuminor and his snaps last season for the Raiders, he had 940 total. He had 66 snaps at left tackle, 71 at right guard, 801 at right tackle. He did end up lining two times as a tight end, but it's basically as an extra lineman is the way you could look at it. So essentially, 85% of the time last season, he lined up, as a right tackle. He didn't play left guard. He didn't play center. That's why you don't see those numbers there. So that's based off of last year, and he's coming off a career year. You know, I think it's one of those situations where don't look at the name. Look at the production. And if you look at simply just the production, people wouldn't even be thinking about not bringing back Illuminor as a right tackle. From a career standpoint, he's played predominantly on the right side of the offensive line. 15% of his snaps at left tackle. 1% at left guard. Jeremy and I have played as many snaps at center as Jermaine. And then 28% at right guard, 56%. He has played over half of his snaps at right tackle. I want Illuminor to be the right tackle, but the question is, does Josh McDaniels, does Dave Ziegler want him to play right tackle? Coming up here, will Illuminor play right guard in 2023? He wants to play right tackle. He flat out told me, and I'm telling you, doesn't want to play right guard. But just because that's not what he wants, that right? Sometimes life throws you curveballs, and you got to be able to hit them. Will Illuminor play right tackle or right guard? The answer is coming up here in just a second. If you haven't already given me a follow on Twitter or Instagram, the offseason is the time to do it to stay up to date on everything going on around the silver and black. I already gave the people over on Locals the inside scoop on Illuminor. And if you want to hear some more inside scoops, well, hey, that's the place you got to go. And then if you're looking to give a cool gift to somebody or if you want to interact with me on Cameo, you got, probably, probably doesn't surprise you. It's... It's at Mitchell Ren 365. Let's go to the final story here on the Raiders Report presented by Roan. Will Jermaine Illuminor play right guard? It was four Chucky heads that he wants to play right tackle. It was tuck rule, tuck that for him wanting to play right guard. So now the time has come. Does he want to, or will he play right guard? We're going to just split it right down the middle. I think it's a coin flip. And if you were to ask me today, what would be the Raiders' starting offensive line? I would, in fact, have him at right tackle. But when I asked Illuminor this question, he flat out told me that he wouldn't be shocked if the Raiders did try to kick him in at right guard. So when you look at right now the offensive line here for the silver and black, the right side is a lot of question marks. I do think that Bars is probably going to be more of just a big-time depth player at OG. I know that the Raiders like Natane Moody, but if you were to ask me, 
Mitch, could the best offensive line potentially be Jermaine at right guard? Yeah, I don't think it's that crazy. But for him, he told me that he wouldn't be shocked if they asked me to play right guard. And that he's already had discussions with the Raiders about potentially playing at the right guard position. He told me, though, the biggest thing that's going to hinder what exactly happens with him and where he lines up is what the Raiders decide to do in the draft. So hypothetically speaking, right, let's just hypothetically say the Raiders take a tackle at number seven. Well, guess what? They ain't kicking Colt Miller over. That means, Illuminar, if you want to start, you're probably going to have to play at right guard. If the Raiders end up taking a Peter Skaronsky, well, to me, he's more of an offensive guard prospect. So that means that he's probably going to have to play offensive tackle. If they take a center, that could change up a few other things as well with Andre James, and it would be more than likely probably pretty bad news for Andre James. So when you look at some of the top center prospects out there, these are my top four. I don't necessarily see the Raiders taking a center. I shouldn't even say that. They're not going to take a center with their first round pick, and they're not going to take a center in their second round pick. Where centers could start to get interesting is in the third, fourth round, in my personal opinion. Top offensive guards, though, if you want Skaronsky, you got to take him in round one. I don't see that that's the way that the Raiders do it. If they were to take Skaronsky, I'll tell you right now, bad, bad news for Andre James because that would tell me that they're going to put Skaronsky at left guard. They would probably kick Dylan Parham in at center, and now your right side of the offensive line gets a little bit more interesting as well. Osiris Torrance, that's a player in the second round. Cody, second round. And then McFadden and McClendon, you're looking at day three prospects in my personal opinion there. But then the offensive tackles. The offensive tackles is where if I was a Luminor, I'd be watching because Paris Johnson Jr., first round prospect. Then you got Broderick Jones, I think also a first round prospect. Wouldn't take him at seven. Darnell Wright, Dewan Jones, Anton Harrison. All players that you're more than likely going to have to take at 38 if you want to be able to take them. And if they do, you know, it's bad news for uh, my guy, Illuminor. So, final takes here around Jermaine and where he's going to be playing football this upcoming season with the Las Vegas Raiders. Illuminor wants to play right tackle. But if it helps the team, I believe he would end up playing right guard. Like, from my conversations with Jermaine, I've had interviews with Tyrell Williams, Dalen Levitt. I've had interviews with Nick Wachowski. And those guys were a little bit humble. Not saying Jermaine isn't. I love Jermaine because he's got a lot of energy. Just like me, he would be an amazing person on a show, with that, which is why I'm excited to have him here. He's not afraid to tell you exactly what is on his mind. And I respect the hell out of him. He does it on social media, and that's the type of dude that I can sit up here and say, hey, I'll go to war for this guy. So in terms of Jermaine Illuminor, yeah, he might not want to play it, but if it's his best chance to start and continue his career, he's been in the league for seven years now, it might end up being a guard. So I want you to say it with me. Say it with your chest. Jermaine's going to watch this video. Are you going to say the exact same thing? We'll see. He's a lot bigger than you and me. I know that. Your confidence level in Jermaine Illuminor this season. I want you to scale it down in the comments. Zero, you got no confidence in him whatsoever. Ten, you know that he's going to be the best damn right tackle offensive lineman in the NFL this upcoming season. For me, my confidence level with Jermaine is a 7 out of 10. I loved what I saw from the final 15 games of the regular season. In fact, I was a little bit disappointed that the Raiders didn't play him more in 2021 at right guard because he deserved to play more back in 2021. So I saw that short sample size, four games in 2021. You saw what he did last season, and I've talked to him. He is in his best shape of life. I use air quotes because that's the time of the year that it is. But he played last season at 335 pounds. He is getting close, he told me, at around 320 pounds. So he's lost about 15. So for an offensive lineman to drop 15 pounds, he wants to add some quickness, and he wants to be able to just be more ready to be able to take on some of those speed rushers. I believe he is, and I believe he is going to be a reliable right tackle, right guard, whatever he decides to do. I was stoked when the Raiders brought him back because he's had that connection with Carmen Brasillo. He can play multiple spots on your offensive line. And he's also a dog, and it's a guy that uh, I'm happy he's back with this team. Now, friendly reminder, one more time, if you're looking for the latest news and rumors around the Raiders, hit that subscribe button to make sure those notifications are turned on. And remember to join our live show when we go live with Jermaine Illuminor. It's going to be Jeremy Chuggs and I, our normal Friday happy hour, the Friday right before the 2023 NFL Draft. 
We're going to have Illuminor right up on screen next to us. You guys are going to be able to send in questions. I don't know if he's going to chug a beer or do a boot or anything like that, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to try. So hopefully you all tune into that. And if you missed my gummy bear challenge, it is on the video. I ate the hottest gummy bear in the entire world. Check it out. It's on the Raiders Report.